Hi guys, my name is DJ Kevin Graves, and I am here at Industry in New York for the Sweet Spot Night we have every Tuesday. I'm here with the fabulous Stacy Jackson, who just flew in from a really awesome gig in Vegas. Yeah. Apparently. It's been a whirlwind American tour for me. Yes. Very exciting. And now I'm in New York, it's my last stop, and then I go home. Awesome. Okay. When, do you, when do you go back? Uh, Thursday. Okay. Yeah, so so you've got a little, a little downtime. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, my schedule is just a little crazy. Okay. So, well, that's but good. It's good. good. It's good. Busy. Yep. It is good to be busy. So, tell us. So, I was looking online, you know, searching you a bit, and I, I, I found that you've like had three top ten hits in the past like year and a half. And so, where did you come from? Like, what were you doing two or three years ago? Like, um, good question. You, you've blown up really fast. It's really yeah. great. It's exciting. I, you know, I, I had a Motown band when I was in New York, living here um, many moons ago. I always wanted to record an album, and I recorded a charity album, which was um, Motown meets rock. Um, and I, for uh, a UK-based children's charity called Music for Youth, and uh, it just so happened that one of the tracks on it um, ended up being remixed by a DJ friend of mine. And um, it, that song, you know, fast forward, ended up at number nine between Lady Gaga and the Scissor Sisters on the club charts, and we were like, okay, this is a bit weird. So um, that's when producers and DJs started calling me and saying, you know, my vocals were very suited to the dance world and that genre, and would I be interested in co-writing? So da -da -da -da, that was it. I started, you know, I've always written, um, I was always a writer. I'm, I love writing tracks. And funnily enough, is my roots are really mostly rocky. Um, so to take what I sit in the piano and write, or even just, you know, think of a top line melody, it might, my roots are always like that rock roots, and then I, and I put it down, and of course it never turns out to be that way. Now it's all it ends up being coming like some sort of dance smash, which is which is perfect. So it's great because I can pull from all different you know influences and hopefully to turn out a good dance too. That's great. So it's like it, it starts off in in like from your heart and what you love, and then, it, and then it sort of expands and evolves into like many different audiences. I'm fine. It's really fun, and you know, and I've gotten from really good friends and know some of the DJs in the dance world, which is great. And um, you know, and they play the, the music, and, uh, they, and and I'm also learning about the dance industry. You know, like you know, the Euro dance and the American dance industry are two two very different things. And like, what would be remixed for an American audience is not necessarily going to be remixed for an, a, a Euro audience. And you can have the same song with the same vocal stem and. And one DJ will mix it one way, and one, it's just absolutely brilliant. And, and that you, you amortize your song so much, you know, so so much better because obviously, by definition, when the DJs are playing them their own way, they're getting play on the dance floor in so many different types of clubs. So it's fantastic. I'm very lucky. That's really great. I mean, some artists are a little bit picky about or protective of their music and it mm. being a certain way. But mm. I think it's great that like you've had an open mind about it. That it's you know. I, you know, I, am, I mean, I have, to, I have to be honest, I mean, do I love every single remix that comes in? I mean, you know, my, my, yeah. my son sometimes will say to me, it's like, we'll get a dub remix back, and there's like no vocal. And he's like, well, where was your voice? You know, I'm like, well, you have to understand that there are certain clubs that play this, you know, they'll play the melody, and they, they'll find that one hook that they'll play because, you know, that's what actually works in their club, and I appreciate that, and it's, you know, um, I'm, I run the record label as well, so as a, from a business perspective, I understand what it means to like send it out there, and you know I can't be too, um, you know I, I, I can't be too what's the word diva-ish about my music. I love like I'm taking from so much influence and so much inspiration from my past. Um, and my new single, for instance, is a cover of a White Tr Snake song. So for for me to say to a DJ that they can't remix my own song, 
when I'm doing a cover of somebody else's song, that would be kind of hypocritical. So I'm really, you know, I think that art is how you make it, and the DJ's art is to take what I've given them and make it theirs. And I think that's amazing, and I appreciate that, and I think that's what makes, you know, that's what makes me dance diva um, in the UK. <laughs> Because I'm, I appreciate that the DJs do this, so it's, it's great. That's really fabulous. Yeah. And it's it's nice that, obviously it's translating, you know, so that's, that's really great. We hope like, so. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. well you, Good. So, so you did a, a song with Snoop Dogg. This did a song with Snoop Dogg. What's so, he like? He's amazing. He's ama I mean, he's really, he's uber professional. He's absolutely fabulous. I mean, wrote the song, I, I wrote the track, and um, it was an interesting story. I mean, you know, I wrote it with a, a rapper part, and of course I don't rap, and I'm thinking, but, you know, what am I going to do? Maybe revisit that charity again. The young, up-and-coming English, you know, kids might want to rap on it. Um, maybe some young, you know, up-and-coming artists who we were looking at the time, like Tiny Temper and Tinchy Strider, and like, you know. But then m the manager I was with, he said, "Well, how about Snoop Dogg?" Because he had done some work with him, and I was like, "Well, all of us around the table looked at him like he was crazy." And he's like, "Look, you're no worse off." Okay, I, he had a relationship with Snoop, and he said, "I'll send him an, an, an MP3, and if he likes it." Fabulous. If he doesn't, then you're not any worse. I swear to God, five days later, I'm on a plane to Boston. It was bizarre. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, no. yeah, I mean it, it was great timing. He loved my music. He liked the track. He loved what I was doing. He liked the whole thing. And, you know, the out of nowhere, the mom of four, you know, just, and we hit it off because um, he's a parent. His kids are the same age as mine. We're, you know, we're about the same age. We talked about sports and, you know, we talked about what the song had meant to me when I wrote it and what it was about. So it was very personal when we, he wrote his own rap for it. So, yeah, it's so, so lovely. You really got to the heart of what the song was about. Completely. And then now I'm promoting the uh, White Snake cover and... Uh, One of my favorite songs, by the way. Oh, uh, you know what? Richard Chi, I'm too had to hear no, the original. I'm not as long. <laughs> so no, I mean it means a lot to me because back in, like I said, back in the day, I mean I was uh, a rocker at heart, and so that was really also one of my favorite rock ballads. That iconic video, right? Iconic video. <laughs> I mean that that gorgeous girl. Oh my God, and him with the long hair. I mean, and back in the '80s, I looked a lot more like him than her. I had the big hair. And so uh, yeah, that was my that was my influence, and I, you know, obviously being in the dance world now, I wanted to be able to give, you know. To take something from my past and recreate it, and also, you know, people don't know me here yet, and we thought, well, you know, let's come in with the cover off the album so that people will at least recognize the song at this juncture, and then be like, oh yeah, that's a great song, and sing along with it, and then, you know, then when I bring in the, the rest of the album slowly but surely over the next year, um, you know, they'd be like, oh, isn't she the one that did that White Snake cover, you know, so. That's very smart. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, it really works as a dance song. Like, it, it yeah. really works. No, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it was so much fun to do. I don't know if you saw the video. I have. My, it just my came out, video. It just came out this week, right? Like, just. And in fact, it's, I, I was told that it's like the, the, the 44th most watched video on YouTube. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, like, Congratulations. Uh, awesome. Yeah, so anyways, that's cool. We kept yeah. the sexiness in this video. Uh, yes, we did, but very subtly yeah. we did. Yeah. I, my, my son was actually watching some of the filming and he was like, I can't watch anymore. I'm like, Wait, I'm not gonna take my clothes off here. You know, like he was, <laughs> he was worried that I was gonna jump right in, you know. Yeah. But um, you know, let let the kids have fun with you that. I and I, I can put out great dance music, but I don't have to take my clothes off. Yeah, so there's a line. Just just to give a little hint to the audience. It, just uh, I'll say that there's like school, really hot young school kids and some stripping involved. That's all <laughs> <I'll say. laughs> it was it's fun great. to do. It was it's really fun, fun to do. So, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm really, really glad to I have you No, I'm really looking forward to uh, performing tonight, and uh, my dancers are in from the UK. So, we're going to give you a show, I hope. Yes. So, yeah. I'm really great. looking forward to it. Yeah. Stacey Jackson, everybody, make sure to check out her new video for Is This Love on YouTube. And check out every artist every Tuesday at Sweet Spot in New York at Industry. I'm DJ Kevin Graves. Thanks.